It's not incredible to be in opposition <laughs> because we would prefer to be in a better position with a big lead, but uh, it's an incredible situation for the race. I think it's very good for the race because I think uh, these three teams have done a fantastic job and uh, give a fantastic fight on the water since nine months now with fantastic zero on all of the team. And uh, to win and beat all of, all of them will be uh, just amazing for the winner. I think that's something uh, what we know that uh, especially one particular red boat they're getting very nervous and another boat another red boat has a, a bad history if you think back about Telefonica that they actually would have had it in the back and then they lost it so in that sense uh, yeah, we, we, we don't feel any pressure of course there's, there's some pressure but that's just uh, a natural one but I think just the people who we're having on board I think uh, yeah, we might be having uh, psychologically a step forward as well. Yeah, well, amazing, amazing for us. I'm very happy to be part of uh, one of the three. It would be very hard for me if, uh, you know, we were out of the fight. Uh, so happy from there, happy for, for us as a team, as sponsor, and of course for Volvo and, and the, the whole sport. And I was talking to them as well this morning, and we're lucky enough, I think everyone is watching. So, so it's been good, and, and to be honest, raises a few questions for the future too. So going for the start, uh, we got a bad start. Basically, we weren't weren't letting the pin, uh, so we had to tack, and then obviously we had to get Brunel room, so we had to tack back, and basically lost the start. And you know we've tacked out now, we're above everybody, and uh, hopefully we can gain back some some ground on them. Well, we just passed the mark in Norway. Maybe not the position what we hoped for, but uh, still a long way to go. It's nearly uh, the sun is coming up again, and it's uh, I think 1:30 or 2 o'clock at night. So we just remember how nice it is, uh, and how fortunate we are that we can sail in this kind of conditions. Of people we've seen, I think it's so spectacular. 
I am so moved and so touched. Uh, I saw my family and my friends and wow, thank you so much all of Denmark and all the city and for coming and watching us. It was amazing. Thank you. Uh, we've chosen a, a path inshore, so it's a lot of very tricky navigation. We've got all sorts of uh, sandbanks and traffic separation schemes uh, and some very changeable weather. So I suspect no one's going to get any rest tonight. Uh, it's going to be a very busy night, changing sails and just navigating our, our way through it all. We managed to catch up now with Matt Van Dong Ting and Investors, so it's actually pretty close now between the top five boats, which is cool, but it'll be, uh, it'll be quite nerve-wracking, I guess, on board those boats fighting for the win of the whole race in these final hours. So, uh, yeah, stress on board them. We're just enjoying it, sailing as fast as we can, and hopefully we can win the lake. Yeah, I don't know. It's I can't really realize. I, it's the first time I cry for a race. I think I cry. I've been crying a lot since the finishing line, and it's the first time of my life uh, I cry for that. I'm so sad for the other one. I'm so sad for Shabi because it's a good friend, and uh, I know I know it, how much it costs to to do this race to a skipper, and uh, this is uh, yeah. I think about it. And also about Bo. We did a fantastic comeback and uh, yeah, but this is the race. Dames en heren, waar handen in de lucht? Carolijn Brouwer!